Hello everyone, this is Cameron C here. Today, we're back for another BE video review. So, today we're going to be doing On The Go, released in 2005. Just to, um, and actually this is, as you guys all know already, a day later, um, after, what, yeah, Brady's first Moog's birthday. Literally. Well, it didn't come out till two years later, but I'm just saying. Baby Shark's movies came out in, on October 24th, and this came out on October 25th. You know, that, alright, so anyways, um, I really have, I do have a number of things to review. Not as much as Bay told me, though, because, you know, that one was, like, almost an hour long. Hopefully, I hope you guys, uh, got through that real good. So, anyways, I have two DVDs, one book, um, and five toys. One of them ha is a piece to a toy that I'm missing, and the other one's just a duplicate. Um, but yeah. Anyways, let's just get on with the DVDs first. You guys know that I always go for the videos first, and then we move on, you know, from there. Alright, so anyways, we got two on the goes, 2007 DVDs. Um, I actually used to have the 2000, the original 2005. I'm not sure if that's right. I'm, I'm guessing that's common. The original 2005 one. You know, the one without the green in the background. Yeah, you know. I used to have, um, the original 2005 one. You know, the ones before these ones came out. But there is a difference between these two that you can tell apart. First, one, this one has a lock and this one doesn't. And... Uh, this one has a magnet to the left side of the disc. This one is right in the middle. Another thing that you can tell by the discs, this one has like a little circle in the middle and this one is like a bigger one. Um, I actually did not notice that until I did the first take, which then failed because, you know, I did a face reveal and, uh, you know, I actually, you know, deleted that because I don't want it in my face to the public. But yeah. I'm not sure if you guys can see any other differences. It's literally the only ones I can actually find right now. Um, the backs are literally the same thing. Let me show you guys the back. Like, they're literally the same thing. I'm not sure if there's any differences between those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just the same thing, but... Yeah. I'm pretty sure they actually do come out with like very like a bunch of variations of these. I'm gonna have to um, recheck my DVD to see which one I have for the most copies of, and I'm gonna have to, you know, see if there's any differences between any of those. I think I mostly have most of them from 2004s, but they could be just Canadians. I'm not sure. I'll have to check though. I'll have to check. But yeah, those are the two DVDs. Let's move on to the book. Things that go. Obviously, this is literally the way it's on the go, so I decided to pop it in here anyways. It's literally the only book I actually got from on the go. I actually don't even remember. Is this like a... No, it's not. <laughs> Alright, so I'm obviously not going to read it, but yeah. Um, I actually This was actually one of my favorite books from when I was a little kid. Um... I'm actually surprised. I still have a lot of the BE books I used to own. Although I think one of them, which was the 365 Day Book, has already gotten destroyed. It's over there and uh, under my bureau, and I'll review that at some point soon. Even though it's already damaged and all that stuff. But hopefully I'll have at least some point to review it. But anyways, here it is. Um, here's the uh, first page. As you can see, there's... What looks like it should be the title um, or the uh, cover for the on-the-go VHSs and DVDs. Although the Rock Moon looks a little different from the... I don't know, it just feels a little different. And anyway, over here we got the um, Bach and uh, Newton on the, on the slide. And then, what, um, I forget the mice's name. No, Violet. Violet Swing on the Swing. And it looks like they're actually in like the city of Boston or New York. Heck. They could actually be in my town. Honestly, uh, you know, without the river. You know, I don't think there's any river in, like, the green grass near Boston. Honestly, I'm just I'm just saying that it's literally just, you know, the city in the background. I'm just making a joke about that. Anyways, here it is. Um, here's the next page. 
them obviously at the zoo, so the elephants and the panda. I have actually do have Sackish explaining, but yeah, you can obviously see that the mom's about to have a face reveal over there. Um, but yeah, actually, don't even not even sure how many how often the panda looks like that in like Baby on Ten form. Not sure, but I'm guessing that's like one of the only appearances that actually has in BE and all, at all. And we got um two little kittens from that on the farm book, which. Yeah, I should have reviewed back when I did my McDonald review. Here's what I'm going to actually do, by the way. Um, at the end of the year, I'm literally just going to be not only doing a toy collection for 2019 to 2020, but I'm also going to be reviewing stuff so far that I have not had a chance to review that are in the reviews. So such as examples, like the cow cone puppet. I did not, even though that was, I did that, eh, I did that review before... Um, my birthday came. I'm still gonna put it in the review anyways. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can do that at some point if you guys want me to do that. Because, you know, I could. I do have a number of stuff that I would love to show you guys that I have not reviewed in any of the, what, the 12, or actually whatever it is. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be around, like, 16 videos I'm gonna be doing so far until the end of the year. Know that I'm gonna have a hard time doing some of them, and I and I already skipped one too. Um, World Animal Adventure, but that was because I didn't have the D I didn't have anything from the video. But yeah, I'm hoping. Just short story. I'm just hoping I can actually um, I can actually do it at some point this year, or actually at the end of the year. But I will definitely do it for sure. Oh. I actually just noticed this just now. I did not actually notice this until now, but uh, take a look. Little score right there. I did not see that until now, guys. Like at this entire time in my life, I did not realize that that there was a squirrel on the tree. I did not. Um, but yeah. Also, this could also be an Easter egg to uh, what the Bubbles elephant would look like in BE form. It could be an Easter egg. I'm not sure. It it might be a theory. I'm just it, it could be a theory, but I'm mostly saying it's an Easter egg. Could it be the bubbles elephant form. All right. So this page is literally like one of the only pages that was torn up. I don't remember how I torn it up though. It was just this page, but no, it, it's literally just not that big of a deal. And it looks like uh, Nathan the horse literally had the worst job of them all because actually, wait, actually, no, he ha he probably had like one of the like the third worst job of all. Like seriously, who wants to be a garbage guy? Literally, like then you'll just get pissed off by uh, throwing a lot of leaves and bags and all this stuff in the fall. I remember that happened to some of the garbage people near my house one time. Literally, they were screaming at like six o'clock in the morning and. Uh, literally woke us up they were like screaming and they were pissed about it but yeah that could be the case for Nathan the horse though <laughs> yeah but anyways in this one we actually see the raccoon I, I actually forget the raccoon's name and gender I always keep thinking that the raccoon's a girl but you know I could I'm pretty sure I'm wrong it's pro it's probably a boy but um yeah I'm guessing it's a boy though and then we have um, the flamingo in a wheelchair. Looks like he probably got injured by I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know, maybe a truck ran over him or his leg. Uh, I'm just thinking of that truck right there. At least it's not a log truck like in uh, Final Destination 2. Yeah, I'm just trying to make a joke here. And then, you know, Bard the Lizard, or actually it shouldn't even be Bard. I'm just going to call it like the Lizard. Gecko or whatever is driving his car, and you know what that means. He's probably gonna have a uh, 15 minutes of uh, car insurance. He probably switched to Geico for that. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I cannot believe I just did that. That is like very hilarious. The joke I just made, literally. He should realize that 15 minutes should save him 15 percent or more on car insurance. I'm not even kidding. That's literally a huge funny joke in that I just made. In fact, I should actually make it into a meme too. That'd be very funny. But yeah, um, 
this is just basically the streets of what's you know what you should like expect on the streets. Over here, we actually have the flamingo again. Kind of weird. First, your leg is broken, and now it's not. Seriously, what the fuck's going on in here? Anyways, we have Jane flying in the airplane, probably still making that book where uh, it has like Jane's expedition adventure, where you know she's looking for the elephant. That one. And then, like, I believe that she's in a, uh, like, a pond, or, actually, no, sorry, La uh, I don't even know what the fuck it is, um, is it lake, you know, I'm just gonna say a pond, alright, so, at a pond, and what I actually just realized is, uh, you know, why didn't you just put a black, uh, make it, the, make the beaks literally just, like, this one's, like, that would make it more sense, if you did that, like, just trying to make it a little certain or something. I don't know, but there's a deep knee frog uh, trying to get the dragonfly. We got it like uh, the cricket, which literally has a few minor appearances in BE books. And, uh, I think it should get a little bit more though. Actually, I would say that for a lot of them. Anyways, we have um, the um, raccoon. Sniffing uh, flowers and flying a kite. And you. Oh, shoot. Hang on, guys. I just need to put in my password again. For some reason, it literally just did that thing again. Alright, hang on. I don't want to face reveal, so. Then we'll have to redo this for the third time. Alright, so that's perfect. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently my computer actually went down. In fact, I should possibly just turn this up. So I'll know when it's going off. Alright. Pretty sure you guys are not going to like it, though, because, you know, it's, it's going to be bright and all that stuff. But, you know, it works for me, though. But anyways, we have uh, the baby Shakespeare bird in the tree right there. And, and actually... I did not see this until now, but apparently that's actually Nathan the horse flying the kite. I thought that was the raccoon, but nope. You can't uh, fly a kite and smell um, flowers at the same time. Oh, that's for sure. We also have the bee. From the first move, uh, no, first sounds. First um, edition, I think. I always get the thing it's the first edition, but, you know, I might be right about that. Anyways, we have the aquarium. Looks like they're in the scene of Baby Noah. So yeah, we actually just see like a lot of fish and the whale. The possibly like the new version of the Happy Starfish. I don't know. They probably got tired of the one used in Language Nursery, so they probably uh, decided to change it up a little bit. And honestly, just to be fair, I loved that version that they used in Language Nursery. Like that one's like the freaking best. Not sure why they changed it to uh, a lookalike for the centipede in 2004. Actually, they could have done that in the 2001, too. I, I think they did in 2001, they started it. You know, with that CGI animation with the caterpillar. Like, you know. I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, they. I'm pretty sure they did that and then the sun turned to one. But, you know. You know, you, you guys know where I'm going with this, okay? So, let's just move on. Alright, so we have another scene from another video. Uh, Numbers Nursery. I actually forget. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't have a Numbers Nursery video at all. So, it's going to be a little difficult and short for me to do Numbers Nursery. But, you know, at least I have, like, one or two toys. I'm hoping I can get, like, a VHS or DVD soon. But, um, Yeah. Even if that was the case, I would say that, you know, Nathan's still drying the, uh, the car. You know that. And then, I don't even know who's behind this one, but, you know, somebody stole, uh, either the tiger or the ladybug's car. Actually, no, I think it was the tiger's car that was... You know, I'm not really sure, but, you know, Nathan the horse wants to race again. And then we got a train in the background, and then the ice cream stand. And then, with the, the cat... Raccoon, and then we actually get like what? I actually just noticed it could be a relatable thing to the shape sorting car. I'm not sure, but I'm just saying that just because it's red and all that stuff. 
I, you know, all that. Then I think the last one, yep, this is the last one. There's a baby watching TV. Now you could be watching the uh, Baby Noah 2 DVD. I don't know. Made by uh, Crazy Croc Productions. I'm, I'm just kidding, okay? I'm, I'm just kidding there. But, you know, could be Baby Noah 2. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't actually never make a existent of that of a DVD or remake. But, you know, that could be hilarious, though. And then over here, we actually do have a picture of the two together. But, yeah, that's basically it, you know, with my suckish explaining in the book. But, hey, at least it cracked a few funny jokes. Anyways, let's move on to the best part, the toys. So, let's, move, let's first take a look at this one. Which is literally my oldest one, my oldest toy from on ago, and the only piece I got left to what's known to be one of my favorite toys, like top three favorite toys from on ago, is this bus piece from that Busy in Town ghost set. Yes, I actually used to have it, and yes, I do want it again, and if anyone gets it, I'll be pissed. Because, you know, I, I'm the only one that actually deserves it, because I, you know, I used to have it, I should always have it again. Yeah, this is the only piece I actually own to it left. I don't know what happened to the rest. I do remember getting this for Christmas. I don't know what year. I guess in 2000s. I don't even know. I'm guess I'm I'm just gonna say that it's like 2009. I got it. I'm not. I don't. I don't really remember though. But it was you know it was a long time ago. I can't remember because it was like 10 years ago and all that stuff. But yeah, this is the only piece I got left. Basically, it, it's a magnet, so whenever it goes up that mountain, it's like a magnet attracts to it. But, yeah, my favorite one from that set was, was obviously the helicopter. I just loved it. I could literally just watch the entire thing for hours. And I, I just really wish I actually still had this, like the entire set, which I'm actually still looking for on eBay, too. So, if anyone um, knows that this was on eBay at some point, let me know in the comment section below. Send an eBay link in the comments, and, uh possibly get back to you guys at least sometime soon or actually just contact me on hangouts or discord let me know in there um i'm more often on there than this on youtube so anyways that's literally it, it does have wheels so you know don't even think about using this on your uh you know playful circus seals or anything it doesn't work on there you know I, you can still use it to like you could like put a string on it and then you can just pull it along. Still use that as like some. I mean, I would. But yeah, this is the only piece I got to it left. So. But yeah, let's just move on to the next toy. Actually, I'm just gonna put it over here. All right, next toy. Actually, do it in the order. So we actually. So this is the. Uh, Another one of my favorite toys from Mom ago. I know it's crazy. I don't have any toys from the uh, on the land music videos. I don't have anything on the what the train one. I did used to have that um the uh, what you call the 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 stacking train toy. I did used to have that. Um, I don't have anything from the boats um, or the land. No, the water. Um, and I don't, I swear I'm missing one. What am I missing? You know, I could be wrong. It could be just those two. Yeah, um, yeah, the bus. Obviously, there's like, what, no toys on the bus? I'm pretty, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure there's one, but, you know, that's basically it. But this right here, I have a lot of toys from the Airplanes and Helicopters music video. I have about almost the complete one. I only need, I just need three toys left to complete it. Hopefully I can find them soon. But yeah, here is possibly my most rarest toy to actually achieve to find at a thrift store. We have no images of it. There is, it's never been on eBay before. Like, there's literally no images of the exact one, though. And I'm the only enthusiast to own this thing. And I was not even expecting this to find at Savers, too, because, you know, it was a jackpot to find. <laughs> get it because you know the company name's actually jackpot yeah, if you guys can see that company name is actually called jackpot but yeah I'm, I'm guessing it is jackpot it could be wrong there's there are versions 
there are other versions of these on eBay that are made by Little Tykes. But, you know, Little Tykes might be the wrong company by this. Could be wrong. All I know for sure, this is not made by Shiling. Um, for sure. And, um, yeah, it does work on my... Alright, get this. I don't have the remote, the original remote to this thing, because it never, it didn't, it never actually came with it. So, I was watching TV. I was like, what, watching Family Guy? Or Modern, or what? Could be watching Modern Family. It could have been, you know, I think I was watching Family Guy. So, one night while I was watching Family Guy, I actually found out, like, I literally heard a noise coming from my bureau. Whenever I turned on, or off, or even turned up the volume to my remote. Turns out it was this. I did not realize this actually took, like, the remote for the, um, for my TV remote. Like, this literally just only goes straight forward. It doesn't go back. It doesn't go, like, you know, it doesn't go like this. Like, you know how they did in the video? Like, this it doesn't do that. It only goes forward. Like, it, do it doesn't move, though. You guys probably seen it in, you know, some you know a few things but i will i'll possibly make um some of the clips soon i actually already have clips that i sent to baby go so i might actually do that instead but yeah you could say that this kind of works perfectly if there was one on ebay i would possibly get that one if it comes with a remote you know uh, but yeah short thing to say this is possibly my most rarest find at savers yet like, this is, like, behind the LeMay's cars and the Touch and Play teddy bear. This is possibly my rarest. By far. But yeah, that was basically it for this one. Um, so, alright. Next up, we got two the two balancing helicopters. Um, I actually got this in, like, the little box of the balancing toys. You know, they were, like, cheap, and then they always break. Uh, you know, yeah. I uh, got rid of a lot of those, and then I actually, you know, these are like the only survivors of them. I might get the big one soon if it's on eBay. I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, I definitely might actually get that horse one. You know. Um, what was rhythm? But yeah, they work perfectly, even though they don't have any men in there. It's they both still work in perfect condition. Yeah, I could actually make I can actually watch these go on forever. Literally, these are like actually amazing. Like literally, I can just watch these go on forever. That one's well done. Yeah, I did get them on off this playground when they were still around. I think that one hits. I think that one actually spins for like a minute. When is that one gonna even stop, actually? See, this thing has been going on for like, what, 20 minutes already? I was expecting this to actually be like shorter, like 5 to 10 minutes long, or even 15. I was not expecting 20. Maybe it's because of this helicopter that won't even stop the damn spinning. Which just did now. Alright. It doesn't really matter how long I'm doing these for. I'm just showing you everything I have from the videos. Alright, so next. We have the Harry Helicopter. The only people that actually know, that I know that own this is just me and Baby Einstein 2003. Although he has, like, the entire set. I only have the helicopter. Which, you know, it's fine because I'm guessing that they... Actually, I haven't even watched it on the go in like a while, but you know, I'm you know pretty sure they didn't have like a person in there. But yeah, I actually found this one at my savers um as well. So what you do here is that you press the bomb, it's like a gun trigger. And then make uh, oh yeah, also these. You can also move these. And also uh, do this too before I actually get back to explain this. Actually, it doesn't go like this because I'm, I'm pretty sure the animals have a magnet on them. 
and you know the you use this to like and they just you know make them go up but yeah back to this you just have like the uh, red you just push down the trigger Wow, I didn't even make that noise. But yeah, that's literally how it works. You just hold, you just do this, you know, like push it down, and make it go. It used to like crackle a lot though when I first got this. I actually thought that was like an issue because you know how old this thing is. I actually don't even know what year this was made in, but it is made by the company called Wow. That's literally just a weird company name, but you know, still made a cool toy. I actually do think this is actually one of the coolest toys in all the go, actually. Like one of the best. Not even like my top 10 best. Alright, last but not least. This was actually one of my first times I actually went to Savers when I got this thing. But yeah, you, you guys know what happens. Make this go, and then the guy pops up. Got the plane move. This thing... Um, actually, it's, I think this one was made, yeah, you guys can see correctly, this was made in 1991. I actually thought this, at first, I thought this was actually made in the 80s, but, you know, or 70s. But, you know, that was the owl clock. So, yeah, it has the wheels, which actually move the same, you know, move at the same time. And we got the blue wheel, which you know, helps the support, I guess. But yeah, I think they come out with like like a lot of versions of these. I'm guessing with like what two or three. But yeah, like I said, this was actually one of the first ever toys I actually got at Savers. Like one of my first ever trips. The other thing I actually got at Savers was the Baby Shakespeare 2000 VHS. Yeah, I will review that um, at some point soon. But, yeah, this was possibly a really cool toy. Um, hopefully I can actually get more on-the-go toys soon. But, you know, that was it, guys, um, for my on-the-go review. Um, next one, we're going to be doing Baby Noah, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.